so staying in the shelter last night wasn't too bad um, and saved a little time this morning because I didn't have to tear down and pack up my tent and tarp the tent and tarp stayed in the backpack and so I guess that's nice now you might ask uh, hey uh, what's the deal with you getting up and uh, getting started in the dark I mean uh, I know that you know probably for the vast majority of hikers um, that's just not something they're interested in doing at all it's hiking in the dark which I get but uh, um, one thing I like about getting started before sunrise is uh, I just love when it starts to get light and um, also you know what I might see at sunrise what kind of a sunrise I might see what kind of a view there'll be and uh, it may turn out to be nothing special but I find it to be a really beautiful time when when you're out here I mean, when I'm at home in my house, I don't care much about sunrise. <laughs> but uh, out here, it's just, uh, I don't know, it, it feels really good to me. It's just, a, it's cool. And even as I look, you know, at the sky right now and see that uh, it's not uh, black anymore, you know, it's, it's a blue color that indicates light is on the way I just find it really pretty and another thing is that uh, I like when I get to camp wherever I'm gonna camp and get everything set up once my bed is set up um, I just want to sleep so I don't want to uh, be lying there awake at night you know uh, not being able to get to sleep. So, if I get started early, then by the time sunset rolls around, I'm pooped and I'm ready to sleep. Well, I guess I'll talk to you again when you can see something. It's hard to describe what it feels like in the forest at this time of day. It's uh, quite soothing and mellow and beautiful and magical and whatever. Well, I said, it's hard to describe. Right? So, fording these little uh, runoff channels that, <clears throat> that head down the hill to Oil Creek, which we can't, uh, which is over in that direction. But wondering if this is a part of the trail that uh, where I climbed through some trees back in February I think out here on a recon mission we did do this stretch trail here looks like a lot of stuff has been cleared off of the path so I wonder if this is where I'd climb through this portion here looks like it was an old road and I think I'm past the part that I had hiked back in February. Oh, there's a bench up here. I'm definitely past it because I don't remember the bench. Or this stuff over here. On the rest of the trail, the, these benches have indicated something interesting to look at. I doubt that's the case right there. We'd just be looking into this forest over here. There's ah, a nice clearing. Okay, yeah, you can see a road going over there. Well, let's take advantage of this bench and do a little of this and a little of that. Still got the staff. Ah, ah, so. I think it's time to rearrange some things. I want to take this jersey shirt off. This headband that I was wearing. It's all sweaty. 
I'll do something with it. And then I got my head lamp in my pocket and put that away, et cetera, et cetera. Let's get all uh, retooled here. My hair is a fright. Uh, well, that's okay. <clears throat> Nobody cares, including me. Took off both my shirts to let myself air out a little bit. Uh, so I'm not going to move the camera down. Nobody wants to see that. But uh, did a thorough inspection of my uh, chest and belly for ticks. It's all good. Thank <laughs> you.